Mr. Speaker, but there are things that many of us do that will put off any visitor from visiting our country, no matter how attractive the geography or the history might be. I refer especially to some of our sanitation habits. Mr. Speaker, public resources must be channeled into ventures that generate wealth and not spent on avoidable expenditures. The cost of clearing and cleaning up our cities and towns after those who litter has become prohibitive. The littering habit seems to be more predominant in the cities and urban areas and mercifully largely absent in the villages. Last year, I reiterated before you my pledge of improving sanitation in the country and making Accra the cleanest city in Africa by the end of my term. I said by the end of my term. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, there has been a significant improvement in sanitation, even though I acknowledge more can be done. However, this is currently the state of play. We have witnessed an increase in the coverage of solid waste management from 16% to 53%. And over the course of last year, 35,862 household toilets were built, as opposed to 1,698 1, in 2016. We'll intensify our efforts at making Accra a clean city. In 2019, apart from continuing with educating and sensitizing people, we intend to use the bylaws to enforce cleanliness. The Ministry of Justice and the Ministry of Sanitation are working together to try sanitation offices, offenses. People who litter would be tried and punished, and so would those who steal litter bins from our streets. We're launching a national sanitation brigade to help us carry this out. And through this vehicle, we will not only keep our towns and cities clean, but we'll also provide jobs for our young people. Once waste is properly and efficiently managed, we can then explore how to use the waste collected to advance the economy of our nation. A costly look around our cities and towns will show us that plastic filth is our biggest problem. We intend to solve this problem through the internationally recognized priorities of waste, reduction first, followed by reuse, recycle, recovery, and lastly disposal, which is to be avoided whenever possible. Government has prepared a plastics management policy with the overarching aim of meeting the challenges of comprehensive plastic management. About 82% of Ghana's plastic waste would be readily recovered and recycled with the existing technologies into value addition products in high demand locally and within the West African region. A vibrant recycling industry in Ghana could recover nearly one million tons of waste plastics from the environment and landfills annually to be recycled into basic need products valued at two billion CDs per year, creating many jobs across the economy. 